talking to me about this right now as my coochie is open and on the table. So now I can't look at my own coochie. to get a v facial today sharing my experience with you guys and letting you know like if i recommend it or not this is my first time getting one. Oh, i am really excited will forever be that bitch i'm gonna be that bitch shoulders are wet it's because my hair is wet that's why it's like so flat right now i am Coming to you guys live with a review video. Well, not really live, but <laughs> I'm here. You just saw, I just went to my V facial appointment. As the video continues on, you will see that I go for a wax appointment post V facial. So right now I'm just kind of giving my review on the V facial appointment. Then I will be reviewing things and letting you guys know how my coochie was after my wax, after the V facial appointment. So let's get into the review. So I was super excited. As you guys could tell by the first clip, I was excited because I've never done a V facial before. A V facial is basically a facial for your vagina and i just seen like these videos on twitter of it and i was like can i get one of those oh i was really excited when i found out that the place that i go to get my waxes did v facials i left for my appointment it usually takes like five minutes to get to my appointment and six minutes before my appointment had um started so when i had left like it completely slipped my mind that one schools are just done around this time i'm not in school anymore so i don't really take it into precaution i just go to work i'm usually at work during all like the school traffic and two there was a heap load of traffic just because there was some construction like, on a street near my house so the traffic was inevitable i could not put my car in fly mode and surpass all those cars like i just had to sit in the traffic i was five minutes late for my appointment and when i got there i was like, like oh my god like i'm so sorry like i'm not usually late to my appointment that was the first thing i said the first thing that the lady has said to me was oh hi i didn't think you were gonna show up now to me like that was just petty it was kind of uncalled for it was a little unnecessary um and I was just like, yo, this bitch is rude. It's the one that's doing my coochie because this girl is rude. I didn't say anything because honestly, <sighs> I should stand my ground a little more when it comes to customer service and stuff like that. Especially, like, I work in a customer service field, so I really know how a customer should be treated. And like, that just was not it. Like, I understand that I was five minutes late, but as I said, I was stuck in traffic. I think I need some ballistics. Well, that's the first thing I let them know and I apologized and she still had to come at me with a petty snarky comment and that kind of pissed me off no like that's just not how you greet your customers so I had to sign a waiver the treatment involved the use of a machine that uses like high frequency waves to like zap those ingrown hairs I guess so they wanted me to sign that waiver for that purpose and yeah they never told me, oh, you need to come early for your appointment because you need to sign a waiver. Went into my room after, like how you guys saw, showed you guys what everything was looking like in there. Again, naked from the waist down, like waiting for her to come in and treat my coochie. I'm watching at first because this is something that I've never done before. I'm just curious to know like what's, what's good. What she had first done was get like a hot cloth and she placed it on my vagina and she was just trying to i guess like soften the area and like open up my pores or i i guess like i think that's why she did what she did and then after that was done i believe that's when she used the high frequency wave she put the like the mask on my vagina and then took it off and i was on my way so before all of this had really started I was watching because I've never been in this type of appointment before. I've never been in this situation. And I was just curious to see 
what it was like like how she does it all that jazz and so i'm watching and then this lady goes to me oh just put your head back like you can put this over your eyes just relax and i'm like so now i can't look at my own coochie I can't look at my own vagina. Like, oh, like, just sit back, relax, whatever. But like, if I wanna watch, let me watch. It's my coochie. I wish I had the same energy that I had now in that appointment. Just didn't make sense to me. Like, okay, whatever. She was doing the facial. You know, they try to talk to you, like just spark a conversation. Some people are quiet. What did this lady try to do? Talk to me about the importance of being on time for my appointment. After I just let this lady know that, yo, I was stuck in traffic. What do you want me to do at this point? Like I'm here, you're treating me, and it is what it is. Like really talking to me about this right now as my coochie is open and on the table and you're like doing this to me? Just kind of spoiling the whole experience of me getting my V-facial. It's not that deep, but like if I'm spending like, it was $50 I think, if I'm spending my money on this, it to be somewhat enjoyable, you feel me? I don't want to feel uncomfortable as you're looking at my vagina after that like after she's rubbing it into my face as my coochie is like spell out on the table and went over the importance of being on time for my appointments she wanted to then proceed to tell me that oh there's no one after you though and i'm like if there's no one after me and there's no one um getting a wax or you're not booked with anybody after my v facial why do you need to rub it in my face that i'm late and why are you making that my entire appointment? And it just, it didn't really feel much different after everything was like wiped off and I put my clothes back on. Like it didn't feel like I had just gotten a facial on my vagina. Like I didn't really know what it's supposed to feel like, but I just know that if I did it myself at home, I would have taken more time and care into doing it because it's myself and i think i would have enjoyed it more if i did it myself like if i had just like found vagina facial like remedy myself i would the only difference is that i didn't have those high frequency waves um that they have i didn't have that machine which i honestly think is fine it's whatever i didn't really notice much of a difference with that either it did remind me of laser hair removal though i've gotten laser hair removal done before and Opposed to doing a view facial again and spending like $50 on a treatment like that, I would just get laser hair removal at that point. Like, I'd rather spend more money on something like that than going and getting that treatment done by them again. Like, uh, or I would just do it myself. Yeah, my appointment overall was just not as enjoyable as I, pe as I pegged it to be. It kind of just sucks. It's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Told me that I'm probably gonna need to do it like a couple more times to really see results. But I'm not spending my money on that again. I, know I use my hands so much when I talk. It might be annoying. I wasn't relaxed or comfortable during my appointment, and the lady was kind of rude. Just I wouldn't pay for that again, and that's just the honest truth. Or I would go to someone who I know small businesses, like people who work from home and, and do treatments like that. I know that they would put a lot of more time and effort into some a treatment like that. I would go to someone like that opposed to a bigger franchise where it's just like anybody doing your coochie. It's kind of unfortunate. Like if I'm hiring people, I wouldn't want staff on board who are, who are like that because that really spoils the experience and customer retention. For your business. I've left a review, but I just ain't nobody got time for that. Hey everyone, um, this is a really bad angle. I can't believe two weeks later, and there's still construction. I'm going to get my Brazilian, and it's gonna be very interesting to see what my area is like post V facial. She's gonna go see what it looks like. After a while, I could just do this. Like, I wish I could go like this, but then I think that's too bait. Like, that mount. So I can just have better vlogs. Good. It's 10 50, right on time. You know, I don't have that lady being a rude. If it's just my Brazilian, I'm keeping my socks on, my bra on, my top on. I'm the rest of me strip for. I remember I was, um, 
getting waxed by somebody else and they told me they had a client who literally stripped head to toe and it was only her like, bikini line that they were waxing. And she's like, is it just the bikini line we're doing today? And she's like, yeah. Two hours later. I have a little side note to put in. It's 11.05. My man was at 10.50. About you guys but like after I get a wax done and they leave the room and I'm still like checking it and like making sure everything is good I like how to do it really quick because I don't want them to think like this girl doing in the room for so long but I though you want to know so I want to make sure that they did everything correctly like I'm gonna go home and see what it's really like now and then I'm gonna get all dressed for a video and let you guys know the reels. I don't know right now, and I'm actually picking up a mini point tweezer, which isn't a good sign. Now, you guys just saw me get my wax. I'm going to now share my experience with that. So, I got my wax, and I actually left even earlier. I was at a different point of the day, so there wasn't really much traffic. There was still traffic, don't get me wrong, because the roads were still under construction, but it wasn't as, as much backed up traffic that there was when schools were done. I got to my appointment a few minutes, no, I got to my appointment like like on time. And I got there and they told me like, I just have to sit down and wait for um, the ladies to treat me. So it wasn't something immediate like my V facial appointment. And then when I got into my appointment and I got ready and everything, I had to wait a hot minute at 10.50 and then 05. Right, so I had to wait like 15, 20 minutes waxing me and I just think that's hilarious because sis wanted to press me for being so late for my appointment when I got my V facial. So that was just funny to me because they really don't know how to keep the same culture within their workplace. Whatever, it's good though. Like the lady who did do my wax, like she did a good job. Just when I was looking at it, like I still did see ingrowns. And like the lady said, oh, you have to do it multiple times to see results. But like, I don't even think the, the lady who did my V facial even took out any ingrowns to begin with. Like, I think she took out maybe like two. Take a lot of time on that step. Like, cause I, I obviously feel the different things that she's doing, but I just know that she, she didn't take a lot of time when it came to like taking out ingrowns or did get my wax. Like I didn't really see much of a difference. So I kind of just, I honestly felt like the V facial was a waste of my time. <laughs> like I should have just done it myself. Um, I did go, as you guys also seen, I had, a, I had got a pointy tweezer because I had to take that myself, but not it. Like the wax was good. The V facial appointment was not, and that just kind of spoiled my mood for the entire company i did cancel my membership because i don't feel like going back like i'd rather go to someone who owns a small business and would rather like take more like small business and the treatment you get from a small business owner opposed to employees who just run a franchise like there's a huge difference i'd rather go to a small business owner and sorry to say i did not enjoy that i don't like this anymore i don't even like coming here so peace but yeah that was my experience getting a v facial um would i recommend it i would recommend getting a v facial um if you go to someone who you can trust you know is gonna put um a considerate amount of time and effort into your facial scale of one to ten what would i rate it a four or five Honestly, it was like, it was a waste of my time, energy, effort, money, all of that. The wax, however, was not, but the V facial, I, I, I didn't like it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think, honestly, four or five is being generous. But yeah, would I do it again? No, yeah, but I would do it somewhere else. Um, Or I would do it in myself. Thank you guys for watching my review on getting a V facial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and kind of let you guys know um the ropes before going for your own appointment i really appreciate it if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe what i do notice with like all of my videos is that most of the people who are watching them it's like a 70 to 30 percent ratio it's like see i'm not like 100 percent 
on point with my percentages. Then of the people that are watching are not subscribed and then 30% are actually subscribed. And I'm like, are you guys serious right now? Like you watching my videos and you're not subscribed, I don't understand. Hit that subscribe button like right now, please. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hope it's bright and beautiful like how it is outside right now. I'm on quarantine. <laughs> I'm not on quarantine. I'm isolating. I'm self-isolating. And I'm just like, I need to go for a walk. Get some fresh air into my lungs because I just kind of grabbed my boots. But I've been for a run, but like, I'm going to go for a walk. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's wrong?